Hello, I'm Joe Barks. Welcome to another edition of The Road Ahead, brought to you by Club Resort Business, Club Resort Chef, and the Club Resort Chef Association. Today's episode is sponsored by Tyson Fresh Meats, the beef and pork experts. With over 41,000 strong working for one of Fortune's world's most admired companies, the Tyson Fresh Meats team delivers both industry expertise and quality beef and pork offerings. Comprehensive capabilities that include exceptional customer service, marketing support, and innovative programs all help Tyson's retail and food service partners exceed their goals and boost their bottom lines. Tyson's Chairman's Reserve brand offers a dual protein mix that delivers an unparalleled eating experience with two quality tiers. Marked by different scoring specifications, each program provides the discernible quality to meet the specific demands of your business. With exacting quality standards, commitment to consistency, and mouthwatering flavor that won't be ignored, it's no surprise that Chairman's Reserves Meats are making waves at the finest club restaurants and dining venues. Learn more about all of Tyson's products at tysonsfreshmeats.com. Mountain Lake is one of the most unique club properties to be found anywhere in the U.S. and especially in Florida. It's a private community north of the city of Lake Wales in central Florida that was founded in 1915 with a golf course that was designed the next year by Seth Rayner. The property also reflects the design influence of famed landscape architect Frederick Law Olmsted, and it includes the Colony House, a private inn and centerpiece for the community that's on the National Register of Historic Places. With us today to tell us more about Mountain Lake's rich history and tradition, and also about some exciting new projects that are in the work there, are the club's Chief Operating Officer, Eric Dietz, and Assistant General Manager, Liam McCauley. Gentlemen, thanks both of you for giving us a few minutes today. Welcome. Thank you for having us. Uh, Joe, thanks so much. And thanks to, well, both to you and uh, Club and Resort. We appreciate it. No problem. Eric, maybe you could start by filling us in a little bit about some of the other unique aspects and historic connections that are involved with the Mountain Lake property there. Yeah, I'd be glad to. We could talk for hours on this, but it's, uh, you know, it truly is, as you say, it's a historic campus, historic place. Uh, we're set in the central portion of Florida. We're about an hour and 15 minutes from uh, the Tampa airport and the uh, Orlando airport, right in the middle of the uh, Grove country. Uh, we're a thousand acres just uh, inside of our gates, 127 homes. And as you reflected, uh, Olmstead uh, did uh, all, of the, all of the grounds here at Mountain Lake. So the grounds, as well as some of our buildings are actually on the National Historic Register. Uh, we have, of course, the Seth Rayner Golf Course, which is a perennial top 100. Um, and it's just an incredible setting uh, in a very historic part of Florida, one of the highest parts of Florida, uh, actually surrounded uh, still today by uh, about 600 acres of groves that uh, we continue to own. Well, I know you've been there now for about four years, Eric, and Liam, you took your position there about a year later. Uh, both of you have been at some really other distinguished and traditional clubs previously in years, interlocking in Minnesota and Lost Tree in Florida. What really has stood out for each of you as unique about not only the challenges, but the opportunities that are involved with the management and operation of a place like Mountain Lake? Well, I think you know, I'll jump in first, Liam, if you don't mind. I think the, uh, uh, you know, the first thing is very unique scale. Uh, we don't have a large membership. It's very, very small. Uh, it's an international membership. We we have 110 uh, resident members and 150 non-resident members that really come in from uh, all over the world. So the scale of uh, of the property makes it very very unique, but also the seasonality uh, of it. Um, and I think for, you know for for us it it makes it quite uh, quite fun. Uh, gives us a, a, a time period where it's very, very busy uh, for a six month period. And then we've got six months to reflect and uh, really plan for the upcoming season. Um, so that in itself just makes it a unique property um, and very different than some of our other peer set clubs. How about for you, Liam? Well, you know, as Eric just mentioned there, you know, having that opportunity to work seasonally certainly has its benefits for us to be able to plan and be productive in those times and reimagine some of the uh, programming scheduling that we do here at Mountain Lake. But it also then um, brings up some challenges such as the staffing in the area and various different 
um, team members that can have some availability and how that looks currently with the climate too is uh, very interesting for us. Um, it became quite unique for me to get a um, work amongst because of the talent pool that was in the area too. Um, and we have a great pool with Orlando and Disney in various different spots. So, you know, with Mountain Lake being a smaller community in amongst sort of tri-state areas, it's kind of fun. Um, we are able to um, certainly you utilize some new programs such as the HTB program and various other um, employment avenues that we've been able to explore to be able to really, uh, I would say, accommodate the challenges of a seasonal team but um, I certainly would say that's definitely been one of the most unique parts of the property that I've found. Well when you're in charge of such a special uh, traditional property how's that affected your approach how did it affect your approach when you had to meet the challenges that were brought on by the pandemic? Well I think you know this <clears throat> this is an interesting property as, as we said Joe the uh, we're a real estate business, we have a water business, so we've got an agricultural business with the citrus and then hospitality. Um, so we had to look at things uh, really from a multi-pronged uh, approach. Um, we, we have a tendency because of the social nature of the folks here, we've got a lot of cocktail parties going on every evening. There's a lot of gatherings of, of people. We had to be very, very conscious uh, uh, of that going into uh, really, you know, an unknown time. So as we looked at um, as we looked at the pandemic, we we really assessed things up front um, and took the perspective that we were in the business to uh, save lives. And uh, what we did was we pivoted very quickly. And I give Liam and his team just a tremendous amount of uh, gratitude and compliments for in three days' time opening up uh, curbside breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, as well as a uh, grocery or what we call pantry store program. So uh, our approach was to keep people safe. Um, we had to uh, uh, stop the flow of guests coming in from the, uh, from the outside uh, and we focused on the core and uh, fortunately we were blessed to do a, uh, do a fairly good job of keeping people healthy. Liam, what were uh, some of the things you really focused on during that time? It's like Mr. D said, probably just the pivot and understanding really what the need would be and how we can still consistently engage not just the membership, also the team members too. It's a very trying time, I think, for everybody to stay engaged and also just to support each other, you know, from a physical and a mental um, perspective. The team members themselves would come into work and continue to help out and continue to provide some wonderful services. Um, but they also had some certain challenges at home that we had to acknowledge and make sure that we were certainly looking into and assisting with where we could. And the membership was fantastic here and very supportive and were, allowed us the opportunity to continue to employ our team and keep them engaged and keep them um, as part of Mountain Lake as long as they you know, could till the end of the season. So that was very valuable and it actually really did resonate a lot as we look forward to the next up and coming season. And, you know, it often word of mouth is very positive about Mountain Lake for us to be able to do that and keep our team and not allow the team just to, you know, be sent home or even just stop the employment because of the pandemic. And it, it was a great gratitude to the membership. It says a lot about their uh, support for the team members that actually provide the services to them. Well, now that we're emerging from those challenges, has there been anything that you and your staff learned or gained from the experience that might be retained as part of standard practices or service enhancements going forward? Absolutely. I mean, Mr. Deeks mentioned there the art of pivoting and the reimagination is probably arguably property wide what's been most gained in the land. Um, but it's also been a celebration of property wide traditions, um, sort of re really visualizing and experiencing them together. Um, it's been a far greater understanding, I think, um, departmental of what the challenges really are and the emphasis on our internal and external communications, what can and can't be achieved, um, how to engage each cog of the wheel from the team member to the vendor to each category of membership. You know, essentially we still were and are socially engaging and gathering. We just did it in a different way with different rule books and um, we consistently had new uh, players of the new game. I mean, I think our takeaways are that we are mapping out new 
roots and laying down new foundations, but we visualize spaces and service opportunities with a jolly good nod to the past endeavors, but look at the possibilities and not to find the negative, uh, to celebrate the today together and also the spirit of tradition. Um, so we've done various different things as part of programming um, and we've allowed ourselves some opportunities to find new events and new traditions and again the celebration together with the membership for them to be able to support and understand and really engage with the team members has been terribly important because um, you can be quite silo with apps and um, not having the engagement and the community aspect but you know we are lucky here we have some space we have lots of activity outside and we had a great season weather-wise so drive-by bars and santa claus coming to be visited by a golf car and have an advent calendar activity where we're able to create an experience for 30 days the members throughout december they really did enjoy themselves and it was a it was to find the challenge was to be creative and it was to be curious eric what about from your perspective i know over the years you've dealt with a lot of challenges at a lot of different types of properties. What was the takeaway from uh, this experience? I think, you know, Liam hit the nail on the head. I, you know, flexibility is the key, but we are we are very, very fortunate. We've got a wonderful group of people here. Um, and fortunately, they were able, uh, they were able to, to embrace some of the changes that we actually made to the physical space during uh, a renovation in 2019. Uh, we were just coming in uh, into the pandemic and opening a new building and uh, really had a, one of those trajectories that was just shooting straight towards the moon and then we, uh, we had to shut things down. But it allowed us to introduce some outdoor spaces and so forth to uh, folks here at Mountain Lake that previously they really hadn't used. So um, I think it, it was the uh, flexibility um, and the fact that uh, I think Liam and, and the other uh, departmental leadership here really did a great job of creating an environment that was fun, not only for uh, the members and their guests, but all for, also for the team members. Because, you know, at times it, it, was, uh, it was trying. It was trying for all of us. But, uh, you know, it was, uh, overall it was, it was terrific. And, uh, uh, but we're just as soon just move forward from it and uh, move on to new frontiers. But we learned a lot. We really did. Yeah. Well, enough about the near-term past and the long-term past and tradition. What's uh, what's moving forward? What are some of the notable things that are on the horizon for your facilities and your programs there at Mountain Lake? Well, and that you know, as as noted, uh, we've got a wonderful wonderful membership base here. We've been blessed uh, to work with a great board over the the four plus years that I've been here. Two presidents that have been. Uh, terrific and very very supportive and, and they've let us do um, what I would what I would say we're all the right things and we'll continue to do that so uh, we did a, a terrific five and a half million dollar renovation of the historic space the colony house here uh, on the first floor concentrated uh, quite a bit of it on the kitchen and the uh, uh, the common areas but uh, during the pandemic it taught us that we need to focus a little bit more on the uh, outside areas so we're in the process we've uh, uh, final stages of retaining a master uh, facility planner uh, we've also been working with a land engineer uh, to look at some of the uh, exterior parcels of land that we have and uh, how can we uh, best utilize those? We happen to be in a corridor that is the second fastest metropolitan, uh, uh, growing metropolitan area in the in the United States right now. So uh, we want to be very careful and creative about the uses of land that, that we have. Uh, we've retained Gil Hands as our golf course architect, and Gil's currently doing a master plan of this historic Rainer golf course. And uh, uh, Gil not only is is our architect, but uh, uh, much like uh, transpired at Fisher's Island, he's also one of our non-resident members. So uh, I think that that connectivity there uh, will be very, very important. And uh, so the board's allowed us to really create a team, a team of uh, of members, a team of staff, and a team of professionals uh, that will help lead us on to uh, uh, the years to come. We did a uh, also did a capital reserve study, which I think is critical um, because we've got to find uh, look very closely at the finances. And and during the heart of the pandemic, we worked on what we would call a long range plan 
what some folks would call a strategic plan uh, to really carry us for the next three to five years. So we took advantage of the pandemic and uh, focused in on a lot of planning. Uh, so now we're at the point that we'll continue to plan, uh, but hopefully we will continue to implement as well. Sounds great. Liam, anything else you're looking forward to as you look ahead? I think it really is just a new explanation of, you know, what we can and can't achieve here and, you know, really focusing on um, what has been and finding the fun in the formality because Mountain Lake traditionally was a very formal um, setting and that's what people enjoyed here. And I think it's just recognizing that and with the membership too and finding our new way through uh, a new mountain lake, you know, not just uh, because of the COVID pandemic, but also just as the membership evolve and age ranges and, you know, activity levels too, um, certain people, have become you know very active in various different activities we have going on here um, and i think that's been very positive and then you know during this period even from a croquet perspective outside use and really uh seeing the facilities used and um and enjoyed and smiles on faces and it's not just been coming to a dinner because you have to and it's traditional too it's been wanting to come and looking forward to what's next and what have the team have been able to achieve and how's that going to be experienced this year and you know what can your grandchildren do um, and look forward to in future so uh, i think we're very lucky and um, i certainly think um, Mr. Deeds and the membership and the board have done a great job assisting all the team members here to be able to uh, produce and to provide services, opportunities, and certainly um, we've all very much enjoyed it. Well, sounds great. I want to thank you both for sharing all of this with us today. Mountain Lake's clearly a special property, and we really appreciate you giving us a bit of an inside look at all that's there and all that's involved with its management. And uh, it will be exciting to hear about the uh, the future uh, things that you do to help bring it even more distinction. And so uh, thank you very much for your time today. We appreciate it. Oh, thank you, Joe. Appreciate it very much. Thank you very much. Once again, this has been The Road Ahead brought to you by Club Resort Business, Club Resort Chef, and the Club Resort Chef Association. And today's episode was sponsored by Tyson Fresh Meats. If you have a great idea or success story you'd like to see featured on a future episode of The Road Ahead, please contact us at editor at clubresortbusiness.com.